In 1942, SS Chief Heinrich Himmler initiated Operation Reinhardt, Nazi Germany's final solution to the Jewish question. Three death camps were built and staffed under top secret orders. These camps, all in eastern Poland, were Belzec, Treblinka, and the most secret, Sobibor. Sobibor. It was here, on October the 14th, 1943, that the biggest, most successful prisoner revolt in World War II took place. This is that story. Speak to them? Yes, Leon. But they're still going to tell us. Leon. Leon. What's going on? We are assigned to the vegetable plot today. While you're all at the station, we are going to go. We've been working on that fence. It's our chance. In broad daylight, through the minefield, it's crazy. You'll never make it. We have the courage right now. Who knows if we will tomorrow? Leon, we are going to do it. Nobody can stop us. Good luck. Nothing but a little target practice. I want no problems here today. Is that clear? Take your positions. Dismissed. Attention, Railroad Brigade Jews. As always, I expect you to be smiling when a train arrives. Remember, we are welcoming these people. This will run smoothly. If there's a problem like yesterday's, if people panic or try to run, I don't have to remind you, you will be killed.
We've got to stay together. Trauma. We should hold hands. Leave your bag. No. Stay right next to me. If you want to stay together, volunteer. They ask you, tell them you have a trade. separated into two groups, just temporarily. Women and children on this side, men and boys 14 years of age or older on the other. Those who are ill or too weak to walk will be assisted. Leave your luggage, it will be brought to you later. Now move as quickly as possible. Move. Mama, he said we'll be together in a little while. Yes, a little while. Kiss your sister. Which side Women to go? Inside. No! Don't start anything! Move! Rock! Do you see how I am scattering this grain by grain? That will be what will happen with your filthy reich. It will vanish like flying dust and passing smoke. No. You stand right here and don't move till I tell you. everyone to listen to me carefully. You have arrived at Sobibor. You are in eastern Poland. This is a labor camp. We have brought you here to work. You will work hard, but hard work is good for the soul. 
So in reality, we are your benefactor. You will be housed, you will be fed. All we ask is your cooperation. If you do your job, you will have nothing to fear. You will be given postcards, write to your relatives and friends to tell them that you have arrived here safely. We will mail them for you. Unfortunately, there have been reports that typhus has broken out at several labor camps. We do not want typhus at Sobibor. Therefore, first you will be taken to the shower facility, where you will each have a hot shower. Naturally, men and women will shower separately. Women will have their hair cut short before they shower. While you are showering, your clothing will be disinfected. Remember, the better your behavior, the easier your stay will be. Hauptschauführer Wagner, Oberschauführer Frenzel. I need experienced shoemakers and tailors. Is anybody an extra seamstress? Qualified seamstresses? I want professionals. Any personal shoemakers? Here. Any tailors? I am a seamstress. Any experienced shoemakers? Where did you work? Any tailors? For how long? In Warsaw for two, no, for two and a half years in a clothing store, Belowski's. I did alterations. Any experienced Good. shoemakers? Step forward. Any tailors? I'm a seamstress. Step forward. Are there any first class shoemakers? Seamstresses? Any tailors? I'm a shoemaker, sir. Best. Step forward. Any experienced shoemakers? Is anybody else? Qualified seamstresses? Here, sir. I'm a seamstress. Is this your son? Yes, sir. No? Can't use you. I'm a seamstress, sir. Step forward. I need experienced shoemakers. Any tailors? Sir, I'm a goldsmith. See? I made that. These are my tools, sir. I want professionals. All right. Step forward. One, sir. My brother. He's a goldsmith, too. He helps me. We can make jewelry, anything. All right. Step forward. Is anybody an extra team Qualified team stress? We'll see. I want Sir? What about our father? Never mind him. Team Stay here, I'll be back. Is anybody else a team Any tailors? I'm a tailor, sir. From where? Beyond your stuff, sir. Very experienced, see? All right. Step forward. Any more? Schaffner Wolf? Women and children, follow me! Come here with your husband. No, I'm not married. My name's Bargely. I'm Luca. I'm Naomi. My husband is fighting with the partisans.
Hurry up! Get in! I'm Samuel. Welcome. I'm Itzhak. We work here for the SS and their Ukrainian guards. How did you know I was a shoemaker? I didn't. But what if I'd been a shopkeeper? Or something? I'd have taught you. It happens here all the time. So why did you tell me to volunteer? Because you look like someone I could get along with, and that's important in Sobibor. Where do you come from? Come on, come on. Come, come, come in. Come. Stop. Wait over there. What do we do now? He said to wait. Someone will tell us. They can't allow babies in here. the baby in here. We can all be killed for that. You must get it out of here and put it where? What would you do if that was your baby? It's Wagner. Good morning, ladies. I need someone who can take care of Roberts. Does anyone here have experience? I have. Stand up. How did you learn? At home. We raised rabbits and chickens. My mother sold them at the market. You have a new job. Obaka Pushur. Come. of advice. Don't get Wagner angry. These Nazis can be madmen. He is the worst. What is your name? Luca. Luca. Well, Luca, the woman who tended the rabbits twisted her back a few days ago. We haven't seen her since. Sergeant Wagner arranged that. The rabbits are food for the SS. They love their haas and pfeffer. You better know what you're doing. Oberkappa. Does that mean you're in charge of all the capos? Yes. Are you Jewish? All the capos are. There are only Jews here. A Jew and you work for the Nazis? I have no more choice than you do. But you carry a whip. Do you think? Where are all the women and children? Ada. Look. Yeah. 
Go on. Stuff your faces right in front of us. Shame on you. Big man, cut for party. What God did you bribe to get food for you and your horn? You're wrong, good. Shut up! Give me that food! Hey, I'm warning you. Stop it! Oh, give me it! You stop it! Why do we fight among ourselves? If we have energy to spend, let's spend it against those who have reduced us to this. Why? Here. Let them share this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you Leon? Yes. I thought so. Samuel said I should see you. I'm Isaac Lichtman. Oh, yes. He told me about it. You're from South Africa? Yes. I have been there many times. Ah. Did you know the rabbi there? Rabbi Schmeitzer? Yes. He was a close friend of my father's. Did you know they shot him? No. It's in the synagogue. During the service on Yom Kippur. I was there. Let's go outside. You found him good. Samuel and I are forming a small group. Hmm. We have to select our people very carefully. Yeah. We're planning an escape. Escape? How many? We don't know yet. Ten people, perhaps twenty, when we work out the details. But whatever we say here, whatever we say here must be kept secret at all costs. I swear to God, I'd rather die right here, right now, than betray you. Good. Can I bring my wife? And my son, can I bring him? How old is the boy? Four. When you saw your wife and child at the train station last, who were they with? They were with all the other women and children going to the shower. Are you sure? Yes. What is it? It's a... What? Listen to me. What? This is a death camp. Every day a train comes. All the people... Everyone who goes to the showers is dead. Men, oh. women, children, everyone. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, no. When did it? Oh, no. It's a... Oh, it's a... Oh, no. The fire. Oh. The fire is the funeral. Charges of rabbits. I've seen her. The panic. I wouldn't mind having a little of that right now. With Jews? Well, that's disgusting. If you saw her. Remember Paul and Groth, two good men, kicked out of the SS and sent to the Russian front for raping Jewish girls. That didn't make sense to me. Me either. We are ordered to kill them, but we are not allowed to use their bodies first. Oh, as it should be. We're SS, we're the elite. We do not foul ourselves in Jewish filth. The British bombed Hamburg again. And again, I'm lucky. 
My wife and kids are all right, thank God. Just be glad you're in a safe place. Look at us, proud defenders of the right. Don't talk like that. My father was killed in the first war, doing his duty for the fatherland. And we are doing our duty for the Führer here. <laughs> That's as honorable as being on a battlefield. He's right. <laughs> You're crazy. What do you do? Sit in your little booth and turn on the gas. Valve on. Wait 20 minutes. Valve on. Big drop. It takes great courage. Bauer, how many Jews did you guess today? Don't talk about that in front of them. They don't hear anything, do you? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't hear you. See? They are deaf. How old are you? Fifteen, sir. Fifteen? My son is twelve. I hope he lives to be fifteen. I mean, if a Jew can't, why can't he? What's your name? Toivy, sir. Toivy. Get me another beer. Yes, sir. Get this butcher out of here! Can I help you, sir? Here's a little present for you. Put it to work! Tell them your name. We know Toivy, sir. We can use him. Nobody ask you that. I want a design in gold on the handle. A snake that winds around from here to here. I'd be happy to do that for you, sir. But Sergeant Wagner, he said that I was... I don't want to hear about Hauptstadtführer Wagner. Just do it. I'll break some bones. Understood. Yes, sir. Send him to compound three tomorrow morning. Ask for me at the gate. Scharfuhrer Bauer. I will have a gold piece. I want inserted in the end of the handle here. Yes, sir. is the most nourishing part. I put a piece in, in your soup, too. Try it. You must eat. The best revenge is for you to survive. My family was murdered, too. What are you doing? You're not allowed in here. 
Sergeant Bell ordered me here, sir. Wait, dear. Oh, here he is. Moses! Moses! Moses, what happened? Did someone hurt you? No. Well, what is it? What happened? Tell us. Went there to get this. From Sergeant Bell. Yes, I know that. I saw the shower place. And there are no showers, because all the people who go in there are killed. All the dead bodies. Women. Babies. All twisted together. Everyone who goes for a shower is dead. A whole family is dead. Knew this. Knew when you didn't tell us. My family are there too. The sergeant. They said if I told anyone, they'd kill me. Oh, our mother, and our father, and our sister are murdered. Now I want to kill. And I will kill. <laughs> Yes, it's not before his house. But you cannot survive here without God. Which one of you is Leon? I am. You're the new, uh, the new goldsmith. Shlomo. Yes, hello, Shlomo. What's going on in here? How can you do this in a place where they murder your families? They kill little children and, and you make music. You laugh, you play games, you even make love in here at the carnival. And you work for these monsters. You pack up our clothing to send to Germany. My mother's clothing, my father's clothing. Now that you know the truth about Sobibor, will you still make jewelry for them? What will you do? Refuse? Consider yourself an honored person because you let them kill you? No, you won't, as we don't. And every day will be an agony of conscience. It's the same for everybody here. When I came here, I was with my wife and small child. They took me to work in the sorting shed. My wife and child were sent to the showers. The next day, I am sorting through clothes, and I, I come... I come across their clothes. I find them by accident. This is the way I find that they are dead. My wife, my child. But what is there to do but survive? Yes, we sing, we dance. Sometimes we make jokes. We make love. If not, we deny life. We work for them so we may survive. And we survive for a reason. Revenge. And someday we will have it. Do you understand? I would do anything for revenge. 
even if I have to die for it. Is going to be late on his rounds today. No, he isn't. Here he comes. Good morning, ladies. And how is your work progressing this morning? I'm in a good mood today. I'm going to let you live. No. You really shouldn't. You're a lucky woman. Give me my baby. You don't understand. I'm offering you a chance to live. It's quite unusual. I spit on your offering. You know it's past. Out of here. We've got to get out. But even if we do, even if we do escape, what then? We disappear into the forest. There are partisan groups there. We find these groups and we join them. But first things first, we must find a way of escaping. This should be one of our easier days. These Dutch will behave themselves. I'll take this. Here. Be sure to keep your baggage checked. Thank you. Uh, just a second. Here you are. You're not allowed to accept tips, ma'am. Nonsense. Please, take it. I can't. Well, then only as a souvenir from Holland. Are there any other Dutch people already here? No, this is the first train from Holland. Hurry up, please. your baggage check. Don't lose it. Thank you. I won't. When they ask for seamstresses or laundresses, raise your hand. Whatever it is, say you're a professional. Why? Just do it. They amused. Bastards. Not only do we die for them, we dance for them like stupid performing bears. That was charming. 
lovely folk dance. Thank you. Very charming. Now, everybody dance. Play. I want you all to have a good time. Come on. Dance. Enjoy it. Let's dance. Let's dance. Come on. Dance. May I have the honor? Let's dance. Come on. Come on. Hello, Barsley. Hello. You dance beautifully. Thank you. If you came to Sobibor alone? Yes. Where are your family? I don't know where they are. I'm by myself. I'm done by myself. My name is Khan. I'm so much. Hello. Would you dance with me? Oh, I would. Come on! Come on! You look like you want to dance. But I don't know how. Would you like me to show you? No laughing. Maybe just a little. I keep seeing people coming to you for advice. We talk. It passes the time. Whatever it is, if I can ever help, just say so. Barsley, I don't know how to say things like this, but I want you. Let me tell you, you do know how to say things like that. Shlomo, I'm 26. Why don't you ask one of the younger girls? I've never eaten an apple before. I wouldn't want a green one. Barsley. When? We'll see. so long. I don't know. Stay here. I'll have a look. Stop here! Stop here! Move! Two prisoners escaped at the stream. They have a rifle. You! You! You and you follow me! Come on! You got out. Let's go. Go.
Stand at attention! This morning, two prisoners escaped from North Camp. Thirteen other prisoners, no doubt inspired by that idiotic example, also tried to escape. If any of you would like to cheer, go right ahead. There will be no more escape attempts in this camp. I repeat that. There will be no more escape attempts in this camp! We are going to kill these 13 men while you watch. But we are going to do more than that. We are going to allow each of these men the privilege of selecting one of you as his partner in death. 26 will die today. Go and select your partners. You're all free to walk over and select your partners. Do it now. I said, do it now. Do it now! No! None of us will do it. We will never. Let me explain. This is simple mathematics. So it shouldn't be too difficult to understand. If you 13 men do not select 13 to die with you, then I will select 50. So the decision is yours. 13 or 50. And now we begin. You will watch this so that you will remember. If I find anyone turning away or closing their eyes, then that person will join these 26 who are about to die. Schaffio <laughs> Fahrerster? Yes, Hauptschaft, Herr Wagner. Take your positions. Of the Hinsdorf! Fire.
Enough time off now. Everyone back to work. Tell the others. We meet in your shop tonight. Eight o'clock. There's something we have to discuss. We've been planning an escape from a small number of people. But you saw what happened today when 13 men tried to escape. The same thing would happen again. We cannot leave hundreds behind to be slaughtered, and they would be. Therefore, the escape we plan must be for every prisoner in Salvivor. Everyone? Even the workers in Camp Train? Yes, all 600. Or else no one. <laughs> but that's impossible. I mean, how can we get 600 people out of here? I believe there is a way, and I believe that we must find it. Lynn's right. It's an incredible idea, 600 people. Everyone in Sobibor must have a chance to be free. There is no other choice. Shlomo? Morris? Bondi? Ethan? Good, then we'll agree. All right. Let's put our minds to discovering what this plan should be. There is one if we can just find it. Let's talk about a tunnel. Again. It's hack. It would have to be at least 50 yards long. But how do we do that? It doesn't matter. Let's say we can dig this tunnel and hide the dirt. Then suppose we start the escape at midnight and give each of our 600 people one minute to get through the tunnel, crawl through and escape into the woods. One minute, which is impossible, but never mind. That adds up to 600 minutes, 10 hours. We'd still be escaping at 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, we have to come up with a real plan soon. It's there. We can't find it. We'll meet again tomorrow. Russian soldiers. What are they doing here? They should be in a prisoner of war camp. Maybe they're all Jews. Maybe. We wanted to know about the Russians. They are all Jewish. They're here to do heavy labor in the north camp. Thanks. See if their officer will meet me in the women's barracks tonight. I don't know what's going on, but whatever it is, I wish you good luck. Just see what he's like. Let's find out if he'll trust us. Or whether we trust him. Civilians and soldiers, Russians, Poles, trusting each other. I don't know. Well, we have to try. Supposing they escape, 
If they escape, we'll pay for it. Lieutenant, I am Leon Fellhandler. Alexander Pichesky. This is Samuel Freiburg. A pleasure, Lieutenant Pichesky. Everyone calls me Sasha. It saves time and energy. Thank you. We would like very much to know what's happening in the outside world. Would you tell us? Of course. What's happening in the wall? Please, please. Far away is your army. We are between six and seven hundred miles away. We are beating back the Nazis, but it is a slow process. Are there partisans nearby? Could they help us? They have many things to do. I'm afraid here we must help ourselves. Let us be open with each other. You did not ask me here just to be friendly with the Russian soldiers. No. So what do you want of us? To see if we can trust each other. Stop you! Stop you! Why should I trust you? We're two Jews in a death camp. Perhaps together we can devise a way of surviving past what they have planned for us. We must get back to the barracks. They locked them at 10. Good night. Leo. Good night, Sasha. Samuel. Good night. He wants us to trust him. To do what? I do not know for sure. An escape? Hmm. Maybe. Why do we need civilians? We are soldiers. We can handle it ourselves. <laughs> He's trying to use us. He... He knows this place. Maybe we should use him to get out. 